Uh, yeah, de- definitely tank the bigger draw, but so you're not you're not you're not catching weight. It's yeah. weight. It's weight classes for a reason. It's levels. It's levels. Tell them to come up. <laughs> tell them to come up here with a big boy. <laughs> All right, I welcome them. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Blue Blood Sports TV back at y'all with another one. So what you just heard was the voice of undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, currently the reigning undisputed welterweight world champion who is widely acknowledged and recognized as the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford is 40 wins, no losses, no draws, 31 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age. Five foot eight with a seventy-four inch armage. He'll be Terrence Crawford will be thirty-six years of age on Wednesday, okay, uh, or Thursday. He'll be on the twenty-eighth. He'll be uh, thirty-six years of age. And so once again, Terrence Crawford did another interview in which Terrence Crawford was asked about a fight that the panel at the time was saying that they want to see was Terrence Crawford facing off against undefeated three-division, five-time world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis. Okay, Javante Tank Davis is uh, 29 wins, no losses, no draw, 27 wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm each. And Terrence Crawford, he says, listen, People keep saying that they want to see me fight Javante Tank Davis. There's weight classes for a reason. But if if he wants to, tell him to come up here with the big boys, and I'll gladly welcome him to the division. Okay? Uh, now, this stems from, uh, in the past, Javante Tank Davis making comments that he can possibly knock out Terrence Crawford. He stated that... Uh, if I touch his chin, I'll knock him out. Now, he since backtracked and said that, you know, it was only him joking, you know, uh, when being asked about a fight, a possible fight with him and Terrence Crawford. But he said this on multiple occasions. He even stated this on uh, his home platform, which is the Rise Podcast, uh, which co- with uh, Senior, uh, Squeeze, Coach Kenny, and Coach Calvin are on there. And they had Tank Davis on there. And Tank Davis was asked what's the highest weight class he think he'll uh, uh, top out at. And he said 47. And he said, yeah, yeah, you know who I want to fight? Terrence Crawford. I want to fight him and get him up out of there, right? Uh, Now, with that said, many people start to say, well, Tank Davis is immediately, they say, is too small. Like Terrence Crawford says, weight class is for a reason. Uh, But when you look at it from this standpoint, you have to look at it from the standpoint of, that, you know, uh, there's greats in the past that have accomplished this, right? That have set out and done this and accomplished it. Manny Pacquiao, who's a legend. Roberto Duran, who is a legend. Shane Mosley, who is a legend. Sugar Ray Robinson, who is a legend. These guys are legends. And they accomplished this feat. Roy Jones jumped up from light heavyweight, 175, to heavyweight. Beat John Ruiz for a title. So it can be done. It has been done. Javante Tank Davis is the same size as Manny Pacquiao. And he's a southpaw that's explosive with an explosive left hand as well. So there's similarities there. So it can be done if he wanted it to be done. That being Javante Tank Davis. Because he actually fought at 140 against a guy in Mario Barrios who was the WBA regular champion at 140. And Mario Barrios is 5'10", 5'11", and he has like a 73-inch arm reach. He's extremely tall, extremely big, and he's a big guy. He's actually bigger than Terrence Crawford. And Javante Tank Davis dropped him three times and stopped him and knocked him out in the 11th round. Mario Barrios immediately then moved up from... 140 in his very next fight to take on former unified welterweight world champion superstar boxer Keith one time Thurman at welterweight 147. And Keith Thurman was once upon a time considered the best welterweight in the world. He lost to 
Ironically, Manny Pacquiao. That's the only loss he has. He's 30 wins, one loss, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 34 years of age, 5'8", with a 69-inch arm reach. Keith Thurman's nickname is one time because of his punching power. Mario Barrios went up 7 pounds north, fought Keith Thurman, and he visibly hurt Keith Thurman more than Keith Thurman hit, hurt him. And he didn't get knocked down. He didn't get knocked out. He went to the scorecards, and he visibly hurt Keith Thurman a few times. Okay? Now, this is the same guy they have in common. A full-fledged welterweight in Keith Thurman, who once upon a time was considered the best welterweight in the world, and Javante Tank Davis have the same opponent in common, and the completely two different outcomes from the smaller guy in Tank Davis who jumped up because he's already done this now. I want you guys to pay attention. Tank Davis jumped up from 130 to 140. He jumped up 10 pounds already. He's already done it. He jumped up from 130 after fighting Leo Santa Cruz to 140 to fight Mario Barrios. He jumped two weight classes, okay, and got a knockout. And now you ha even have Coach Calvin Ford saying that Javante Tank Davis is the perfect opponent and the perfect fighter to help prepare former unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl the True Spence Jr., who is now 28 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach, who's coming off the devastating loss, the first loss of his career, July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T Mobile Arena. When he took on and fought and lost to the same very Terrence Crawford. He got dropped in the second round, twice in the seventh round, and stopped in the ninth round. And in all those other rounds, outside of the first and the third round, he got battered in those rounds to which people thought he should have been stopped. The fight should have been stopped in the sixth, seventh round, and it made it all the way to the ninth round. But let's listen to what Coach Calvin Ford had to say regarding Javante Tank Davis helping prepare Errol Spence for the rematch with Terrence Crawford. Shakur Stevenson got Terrence Crawford really ready for the fight. Southpaw for the Errol Spence Southpaw look. Sharp kid. Me and my buddies were talking. <clears throat> Before this this talk with, you know, Errol Spence wanting to join, you know, you or Roy Jones or whatever the case may be, we're going to get right into that. But we always say, who can, who can he, who can, who can Arrow get in his camp to possibly get him ready for a Terrence Crawford fight? And me and my boy said, Tank. Tank. You already I know. Said that. I said that a long time ago. So, as you heard, Coach Calvin Ford said, Javante Tank Davis is the perfect fighter to help prepare Errol Spence for a rematch with Terrence Crawford. He's a Southpaw. Terrence Crawford fought the entire fight against Errol Spence in a Southpaw stance. Terrence Crawford only went the distance three times since becoming a world champion in 2014. So he has a lot of power in both hands. And so with that said, Tank Davis is explosive, 27 knockouts and 29 fights, and he's a Southpaw as well that can box. So if Javante Tank Davis is the perfect fighter to help prepare Errol Spence, who got dominated by Terrence Crawford for a rematch with Terrence Crawford, then, well, Javante Tank Davis should be able to beat Terrence Crawford and compete with Terrence Crawford. If he can mimic and prepare Errol Spence for Terrence Crawford, then he should be able to beat Terrence Crawford, right? So, again, like I said, a lot of fighters in the past have dared to be great, and Javante Tank Davis has done it in the past. But I don't suggest it because of the styles of Terrence Crawford. That's why. Now, Roberto Duran, he jumped up, he fought, and he beat the best fight in the world, which was Sugar Ray Leonard. So Tank Davis would jump up, be jumping up and fighting the best fight in the world, which is Terrence Bud Crawford. But not too many people like that matchup. So Terrence Crawford, he lets Javante Tank Davis know there's weight classes for a reason. But if you want to dare to be great, you want to come up here with the big boys, 
I'll gladly welcome you to the division, is what Terrence Bud Crawford had to say. So that's all I got for y'all, man. Let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.